Hello, I'm Jane Johnston. I'm the owner at Van Rowe and I write about powder compacts and collecting at powdercompacts.wordpress.com. I'm a powder compact collector with over 300 pieces in my own collection and the question that I get asked the most about powder compacts is how to refill or reuse a vintage Stratton powder compact. Now the thing you need to know about Stratton is that they've been producing compacts since the mid-1920s and the designs that they're most famous for are the Stratton Loose Powder Compact with a self-opening inner lid and a Stratton Convertible Compact. Now to tell whether your Stratton is a convertible or a loose powder compact, you need to look inside. So I have two compacts here to instantly show you the difference between a Stratton Loose Powder Compact and a Stratton Convertible Compact. This is a loose powder compact. You can see it's got a second inner powder lid. This is a convertible compact and you can see there's no inner lid. It's an open, simple, round powder well. The Stratton loose powder compact is where Stratton paid its name. In 1949, they patented a little device called Stratton's self-opening powder lid. And you can see it's here. If I open this outer lid past vertical, the inner lid pops open so that I can easily open the powder lid to access my powder inside. Inside the lid, you can see what's known as a sifter. A sifter is a little mesh gauze under which your powder sits and the sifter holds it gently in place and the powder lid presses the powder so that it's ready for your application. A convertible compact is made to take both pressed and loose powders. Obviously you can't use it with loose powder when it's just open like this. So Stratton in the uh, late 1950s when pressed powders like Max Factor Cream Puff became very unpopular created a sifter like this. It's a larger sifter, it has about a 5mm depth and it's made out of plastic. And this sifter sits very snugly inside the powder well and the puff, this is the vintage puff that came with this piece, sits inside for storage. What can be confusing is that Stratton has also made in its history um, pieces like this one. This is a convertible, but inside it has a powder ring. You can see, you can tell it's not a loose powder compact, it's completely open, but the powder ring is a little invention just to keep the sifter nicely in place within. And again, the puff, if you have one, sits in the middle there, like so. Now, to use a loose powder compact with powder, what you need to do is open it up, make sure you have a sifter in place. So if you don't have a sifter, Stratton does stock um, replacements, which you can get through sites like mine at Van Rowe. So that's a replacement Stratton loose powder sifter. You can see it's completely flat. It has a fine mesh gauze and it sits snugly within the powder well. This is a modern um, Stratton loose powder compact which was produced just, just recently and we, we stuck this on our site. I'll put the links if you're interested below the video on YouTube. So you sit your sifter just gently within the powder well. Bring the powder well down. Now remember this is Stratton's self-opening inner lid so to close the lid bring the top lid past vertical and that little clasp will pop in place and then the puff, if I can find one, let's see if I've got my modern puffs here. So this is a, a modern Stratton puff for the loose powder compacts, so you see it's quite thin. That sits on top of the powder lid like that and the whole compact closes like that. So this is a modern Stratton design, the Compton William Morris Compact. You can see if I'm going to use it with press powder, I don't need a power sifter. I can just put my press powder refill pan like Max Factor Cream Puff just in the compact and close it up. If you want to use it with loose powder, what I recommend is that you take out the sifter, turn it upside down, pop it in, and you can see it fits very snugly. That's not going to fall out in your bag and the powder is not going to cause a powder explosion. If you want to take it out, there's a little nick for you to get your fingernail in. Put your loose powder underneath, put the sifter on top, 
And then what holds your powder in place, because obviously there isn't a powder lid to go down, is the puff itself. So you do need to store your puff on top of your powder sifter. So the puff, the powder sifter goes in place like that to hold the powder, and then the puff goes on top to make a seal with the sifter to keep the powder in place. So again, you can close your lid, and there we are. So for a convertible compact like that, to use with loose powder, you do need a powder sifter. The sifter goes on top of your powder and the puff in place like that to hold your powder snugly within your sifter. If you're going to use a loose powder compact, this is the vintage version, you have your puff on top of your inner powder lid. To open the powder lid, bring past vertical, that brings open, and your powder sits underneath your sifter. To show you finally again with a modern version, the modern Stratton Loose Powder Compact. Open it up. Again, you've got your puff on top of your inner lid. To open the inner lid, ring press vertical. That opens up. Sifter inside. Powder goes underneath the sifter. Close the lid. Ring press vertical to lock. Put your puff in place. And there we are.